Hello friends! This is kind of a random video for me. I don't do reviews very often. I think I've done one before, and that was like a year ago. But that's because I don't come across things that are new and relevant very often that I can actually afford. So, I was at the store with my mom a couple of days ago and I came across Katy Perry's new line of makeup with CoverGirl. And I got super excited because I saw that she has a line of matte lipstick. And then I got even more excited because I saw a black one. Now, I was overall kind of disappointed with it, but it wasn't the worst thing in the world. I just, I don't know. I want to make this just in case somebody was thinking of buying these lipsticks and they wanted to know a little bit more about them. I watched reviews after I got it and the one that I did watch was not a very helpful one. It didn't give a lot of insight into the lipsticks themselves. Now, I only bought one shade and I got the black one, like I said, the Perry Panther is what it's called. You can't see it because my camera is shit. Focus! There are pros and cons to it. More cons than pros in my opinion, and the cons are actually more important aspects, so I was kind of sad that they were cons. We'll get to those in a sec. So the pros. It smells really good, <laughs> and it tastes really good, which is kind of important, but not really. But the packaging is really cute. I was drawn to it because of the packaging. I don't know why. It's not even, like, amazing or anything. It's just... It's just cute. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it for the pros. <laughs> and I hate saying that, because I like giving things a chance, and I like being fair, but this just was not great for me. The cons. So first of all, it was not very long-lasting. I had it on for maybe four hours, and I started noticing it rubbing off. And four hours might seem like a lot of time to some people. Like, that might seem long-lasting, but to me, I want to wear my lipstick for like eight hours before I have to worry about reapplying. <laughs> I don't feel like that's too much to ask for, but maybe it is. But along with that, I usually have to wear matte lipstick for at least four hours before it starts getting matte, like all the way. Maybe it's just because I put too much on, I don't know. This never did. Found out that it's actually semi-matte, which means it's always gonna have some kind of glossiness to it. And I noticed that a lot in general with black lipstick. I don't know if it's what they use to make it black that just makes it kind of oily or like greasy but it never set all the way and became matte because it's a semi, but it doesn't say that it's semi anywhere on the packaging, so that's kind of annoying. Also, it's not very opaque, I think is the word. Uh, it never went on full coverage. Like, uh, you could always see the pink from my lips underneath it, and that bothered me. The reason why I was so excited was that I have never found a really good black lipstick that went on super dark, like, and I was, annoyed <laughs> because this one didn't and I thought it would. I, I don't know why I thought it would, but it didn't. It might look better on darker skin. Maybe it's just because my lips are too light. I did see somebody else who tried these and she swatched them and she had darker skin than myself and she said it looked purple on her, but it looked full on black on me. There's a swatch of it. Like honestly, it's, it's not horrible. It's not a horrible, horrible situation. It's just... Not the best. Definitely not matte, definitely not long lasting, and not very full coverage. Somebody else said that if you put more than one coat on, it's better, but I noticed that the more I put on, the more it was taking off. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess maybe I did something wrong. If you did buy this product and you had a better like, experience with it than I did, let me know because I don't know if I just got a defective one and it's just shit because I got one from a shit batch, but. It, I would give it like a 5 out of 10. It would have been like a 6 if it was longer lasting. Probably a 7 or 8 if it was actually matte. And probably a 10 if it was a full coverage lipstick. But because it was none of those things, I will give it a 5. <laughs> I was just expecting more out of it for the price. It was like $8. And I've heard better things about other $8 lipsticks that I was stupid and didn't buy instead of this. <laughs> yeah, like I said, if you had a better experience with it, then good for you. Let me know. I'd like to hear if other people <laughs> have had a hard time like I did. Hopefully this was helpful in some way. It was yay. <laughs> that was my goal. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Oh, I don't like this lipstick. It was not my favorite.